The Secretary of the Air Force is the head of the Department of the Air Force, a component organization within the United States Department of Defense. The Secretary of the Air Force is appointed from civilian life by the President, by and with the advice and consent of the Senate. The Secretary reports to the Secretary of Defense and or the Deputy Secretary of Defense, and is by statute responsible for and has the authority to conduct all the affairs of the Department of the Air Force. The Secretary works closely with his or her civilian deputy, the Under Secretary of the Air Force, and his or her military deputy, the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, who is the senior most uniformed officer in the United States Air Force. The first Secretary of the Air Force, Stuart Symington, was sworn in on 18 September 1947 upon the reorganization of the Army Air Forces into a military department and a military service of its own, independent of the War Department, Army, with the enactment of the National Security Act. On 16 May 2017, Heather Wilson was sworn in as the next Secretary of the Air Force. Wilson was nominated by President Donald Trump on 23 January 2017, and confirmed by the U.S. Senate on 8 May 2017. On 9 March 2019, Secretary Wilson announced her resignation which will take effect on 31 May 2019. Responsibilities <inaudible> 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 The Secretary is the head of the Department of the Air Force, analogous to that of a Chief Executive Officer of a corporation. The Department of the Air Force is defined as a military department. It is not limited to the Washington Headquarter staffs, rather it is an entity which includes all the components of the United States Air Force and the Air National Guard. The term department, when used with respect to a military department, means the executive part of the department and all field headquarters, forces, reserve components, installations, activities, and functions under the control or supervision of the Secretary of the Department. The exclusive responsibilities of the Secretary of the Air Force are enumerated in Title X Section 9013 of the United States Code. They include, but are not limited to 1. Recruiting 2. Organizing 3. Supplying 4. Equipping including research and development. 5. Training 6. Servicing 7. Mobilizing 8. Demobilizing 9. Administering including the morale and welfare of personnel 10. Maintaining 11. The construction, outfitting, and repair of military equipment 12. The construction, maintenance, and repair of buildings, structures, and utilities and the acquisition of real property and interests in real property necessary to carry out the responsibilities specified in this section. By direction of the Secretary of Defense, the Secretary of the Air Force assigns military units of the Department of the Air Force, other than those who carry out the functions listed in 10 U.S.C. 8013 to the unified and specified combatant commands to perform missions assigned to those commands. Air Force units while assigned to combatant commands may only be reassigned by authority of the Secretary of Defense, however, the chain of command for Air Force units for other purposes than the operational direction goes from the President to the Secretary of Defense to the Secretary of the Air Force to the commanders of Air Force commands. Air Force officers have to report on any matter to the Secretary, or the Secretary's designate, when requested. The Secretary has the authority to detail, prescribe the duties, and to assign Air Force service members and civilian employees, and may also change the title of any activity not statutorily designated. The Secretary has several responsibilities under the Uniform Code of Military Justice with respect to Air Force service members, including to authority to convene general courts martial and to commute sentences. The Secretary of the Air Force may also be assigned additional responsibilities by the President or the Secretary of Defense, e.g. the Secretary is designated as the "...dot executive agent for space", and as such shall develop, coordinate, and integrate plans and programs for space systems and the acquisition of DOD space major defense acquisition programs to provide operational space force capabilities to ensure the United States has the space power to achieve its national security objectives. <laughs> <laughs> Office of the Secretary of the Air Force 
the Secretary of the Air Force's principal staff element, the Office of the Secretary of the Air Force, has responsibility for acquisition and auditing, controller issues including financial management, inspector general matters, legislative affairs, and public affairs within the Department of the Air Force. The Office of the Secretary of the Air Force is one of the Department of the Air Force's two headquarter staffs at the seat of government, the other one is the Air Staff. Composition The Office of the Secretary of the Air Force is composed of Under Secretary of the Air Force The Deputy Under Secretary of the Air Force for International Affairs The Deputy Under Secretary of the Air Force for Space Programs Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Financial Management and Controller Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Installations, Environment and Logistics Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Manpower and Reserve Affairs General Counsel of the Department of the Air Force Inspector General of the Air Force Chief of Legislative Liaison Administrative Assistant to the Secretary of the Air Force Auditor General of the Department of the Air Force Air Reserve Forces Policy Committee Topic: Chronological list of secretaries of the Air Force. Topic: See also. Air Force Cross, United States. Department of the Air Force decoration for exceptional civilian service.